My name is Mallory Montenegro. I'm a trainer here at Salina ISD in Texas. And this video is going to go over how to do the pre-trip demonstration on a pusher bus or flat nose bus or rear engine bus. I do have a video where I go over the full pre-trip demonstration and I walk around the entire bus and do the outside and inside. And that was done on a standard bus, which looks like these buses over here. But for this video, we're just gonna go over the engine compartment because that's really the, the main difference between this type of bus and the standard type of buses. And uh, also just wanted to make a quick note and kind of a disclaimer that this is just how we do the uh, training here. Um, it's not CDL, uh, DPS certified or anything like that. It's just what works for us here. So if you live in a different area besides Dallas area in Texas, um, I encourage you to look at your CDL manual, use that for reference. And also uh, what would be even more helpful is to talk to people in your area who've taken the CDL test and passed and ask them questions about how they did their pre-trip because it might be a little bit different than how we do it here. So without further ado, let's get started. So the engine is going to be in the back of the bus. We're not going to go over the lights or anything like that. We're just focusing on the engine compartment. So I'm going to open that up. So looking at the different components, um, well, first of all, we're just going to look at everything, kind of make sure that we don't see anything that's obviously damaged or loose um, or missing. There's no puddles or leaks underneath. And looking at the different parts. Um, the alternator is right here and uh, just making sure that that's properly mounted. There's no cracks or damage or rust, um, no parts missing or frayed wiring or anything like that. The water pump is here. Um, same thing, there's no damage, there's no rust, no loose or missing parts. It's securely mounted. And both of these are driven by a belt, uh, alternator belt, I guess you can call it. It's uh, got no, it doesn't have any frays or cracks or damage. And when I pull on it, there's no more than one half inch to a quarter, three quarters of an inch of slack. Looking also at the uh, steering pump, which is right here. Um, it's also connected to that same belt uh, so obviously it's belt driven, making sure that it is secure and in place. There's no loose or missing parts, no cracks, damage, or rust. Um, the air conditioning compressors, there's one here and there's also one back behind here. Those are both securely mounted, no cracks, damage, or rust, nothing loose or missing. Um, and they are belt driven, the two belts are right here. Uh, checking that to make sure there's no damage to the belts, no cracks, no fraying. And again, when I tug on it, there's no more than three quarters of an inch in, in a slack. Okay, and um, while we're on the air conditioning compressors, we're looking at, we can also look at the hoses here. Um, those are secure and in place. There's no leaking. There's no uh, loose parts, nothing damaged or uh, rusted, broken. Okay, and uh, also looking at the um, hoses uh, and tubes, all of these uh, air hoses, coolant hoses, they're all in place securely. There's no leaking, there's no um, cracks or damage or rust. And the coolant reservoir is actually this right here. And if we go around to the other side, open this door here, uh, so with the coolant re reservoir, we're just going to check it to make sure it's not leaking. It's securely mounted in place. There's no cracks or damage or rust. And the hoses that are connected to it, they're all secure and tight. There's no uh, leaking in those hoses either. No cracks or damage. And also uh, in this type of reservoir, it, to check the level, it has two glass uh, windows here 
So you check those, we can see the red in this one so we know that it has an adequate level of fluid. The air compressor is right here. Um, it's actually easier to see from the other side. Um, oh, and actually while we're here, let's go over the uh, transmission fluid and the engine oil. Um, both of those dipsticks are right here. To check those, you would take it out, wipe it off with a towel, reinsert it and pull it back out and make sure that it's above the refill mark. Um, and also the uh, hydraulic fluid reservoir, which actually is also the power steering fluid, is right here. Checking that to make sure that it's secured in place. There's no leaking, no cracks or damage of any kind. And uh, kind of like with the coolant reservoir, we have little windows here where we can check to make sure that it has an adequate amount of fluid. So going around to this side, through this window here, we have a different view and we can see the air compressor and some of the other components of the engine, uh, all the tubes and everything, making sure that all of that looks to be uh, secure and in place. There's no leaking or damage of any kind. The battery compartment is located also in the back. So opening that to make sure that the batteries are secure and in place. There's no uh, damage to the batteries, no excessive corrosion, and uh, all the wiring is secure and in place with no damage. Right here, this door here, um, and here you will find the windshield wiper reservoir, or washer fluid re reservoir, I should say. And uh, we're just making sure that that is securely mounted. There's no cracks or damage, no leaks or anything like that. Um, and it is at an adequate level. Um, through this door, you can also see the steering box. So just like with the standard buses, um, we're gonna check that, that for um, any cracks or damage, make sure that it's securely mounted and um, also noting that it is gear driven. And if you look through here, you can see the steering linkage, um, just making sure that that is secure and in place. There's no cracks, damage, it's not bent, uh, no excessive rust. And um, also noting that the cotter pins are in place here. It might be kind of hard to see on the camera. You can also check the brake system and the suspension system here. And we would do that the same way that we did on the other buses. You can also look through these peepholes here and you can see better the brake system and the suspension system as well as the air brake tanks that are up on this end of the bus. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.